Hey guys, Paul Haas, physiotherapist from Strap It Medical and Sports Supplies. Today I want to take you through uh, a second option. We've got another video option of how to potentially try and cause a level of translation of the ankle joint where we've got a bit of protection of structures that can get irritated if you have a general uh, hypermobility or a sloppy ankle. Sometimes what happens is that this bone here, the tibia that comes into the talus, this can glide from posterior to anterior and start to jam the retinaculum. Uh, the, the tail and neck, the tibial plafond, there's a few structures in here that can be compromised if the ankle is shearing the wrong way. So we want, want to try and reproduce the good mechanics of the body to try and keep that tibia back where it belongs so it doesn't glide forward, okay? So I've shown you on another video how to use the traditional strapping tapes. Um, they can be a bit cumbersome and a little bit hard to use and can cause a bit of irritation on the skin because uh, rigid tape is rigid, so it obviously doesn't have much give um, but it certainly is a good stop to try and stop this gliding so that's an option one and this is a new pretty cool option this is with our uh, active tape so it's a nylon highly elastic tape that stretches about 270 to 80 percent if you look here on the if you look at the product here so nylon and a bit of spandex so very very stretchy so if I just show you here on the camera uh, it's different to kinesiology tape that only stretches 180 percent this is 270 to 280 and if it wasn't on the skin, it would actually stretch ridiculously. So you can see there, that, that is a very highly elastic tape. Now, we've got a three layer technique here. Okay, so we've got three layers on top of each other. Nylon's quite smooth, so you can triple the layers. Uh, and what we're going to do here, we're trying to stop this, this bone here moving forward. So we need to somehow leverage this against the bone that it moves forward on, which is the, the talus, okay? So the talus uh, and the calcaneum, everything together, we can get the talus and the, and the, the subtalar joint and the calcaneum all to hold together to try and stop that moving forward. So we're trying to almost push the tibia back. How do we do that? Let's do it. So if you bend your ankle joint up and down for me, Amy. So the actual tibial plafond and here, so this is where the ankle, the tibia ends and the talus starts. So we're just above that area, which is perfect for what we want to do. Okay, so Amy just sort of puts her foot not all the way up, maybe just a little bit off stretch. That's it, yeah. Okay, and what we do, we get this tape in the middle, so it's a little bit off one way, I think, here. Yep, so we're just going to move this off and across this way a bit. Okay, so what we're going to do, we want to leverage off this point here. So it's a really cool tape. We put a fair bit of pull, okay, a bit of tension on the tape. And then we come around almost like a heel lock and we come back up to the top of the ankle. And the second one, similar thing, but the other way. So you can see that leverage there. Come around just like a heel lock and bring the tape back up. No stretch on the ends, mind you, to where it started. Okay. So it's effectively like a, a couple of heel locks have put this real leverage on the, on the skin. And so we get this anterior to posterior glide of the tibia on the talus, which then is protecting the, the ability for that tibia to actually shear anterior, which can be, cause lots of problems for uh, people who are in running sports that get that natural shear. So I hope that makes sense. It's a little bit different. It is with a really, really cool tape that uh, is available through gripitktape.com. Um, and I hope you guys get something out of that. Cheers.